What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Stowenside. There's no city, there's no town, there's nothing except just the name, Stowenside. It's kind of like a uh, one name people, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, in our last episode, we went through Route 6, did a lot of nonsense, uh, non nonsense and all that stuff, got two new Pokemon, uh... Did a lot of stuff, pretty much, yeah. A lot, a lot of stuff. Off screen, I did a little bit of training. I did train my Farfetch'd, or, yeah, my Galarian Farfetch'd just a little bit. And I found out the way I could evolve this Pokemon. And, uh, <laughs> this is going to take a bit of luck because, oh, Lord. it's going, it's, It really is going to be taking a little bit of luck in order to do this. So, from what I've learned... The only way you can actually evolve a Galarian Farfetch is by getting three critical hits in a battle. Now, I did train it up to level 31. Actually, I gave it uh, a few candies. That way, it can get up to level 31. And I did give it the TR that has Focus Energy, which will increase its uh, ability to get more critical hits. Now, the best way to actually evolve this Pokemon... Uh, with those three critical hits would be with Pokemon trainers with multiple trainers and since of course I have a I, I have a feeling uh, like a disturbance in the force and all that crud yes I kind of feel like we're gonna be taking on our rival pretty soon here might as well do it against him because yeah kind of don't like him or, or anything like that so let's move on here we are in Stowenside and it's a pretty sandy place there's a gym or two or anything like that depending on the version that you're playing and, well, God, I really, really don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. All right, so we're going to be moving forward. There's going to be trainers right here and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go right ahead and just do it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, around right here, okay? So here he is, good old buddy Hop, who has been defeated multiple times because he sucks. Draven. He's looking down, he's like, I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? Well, maybe you should just battle as yourself. That should be a good uh, solution. But the only thing I could do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try all, all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Alright, sure. Bring it on. Then let's do it. I bet I, I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my, my head straight. <laughs> Not really, because <laughs> just wait what happens, homeboy. Just wait what happens. So here we are taking on Hop, and now this time he's going to be coming out with some pretty new Pokemon, one being Cramorant. This Pokemon's a little special because uh, if it uses Dive or Serp, it's going to get you pretty good. <laughs> it really is. So, here we go. Let's go right ahead and use a Focus Energy. Remorant, of course, using uh, Folk or, you know, Fury Attack because, you know, why not? And, yes. Oh, God. We, we are slow. Holy crud. All right. Here we go. Focus Energy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Galarian Farfetch's are freaking awesome. So, let's go right ahead with a Brutal Swing. And, of course, we're going to be getting hit by freaking Fury Attacks. Oh, man, this is going to be a challenge right here. So here we go. Quackor with a brutal swing. That was not a critical hit. So we're going to have to try this again. And here comes a Pluck Attack. Oh, no! How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. You know what? I'm flipping you off, man. I am flipping you off. All right. I see where this is going, so let's go with Blitzkrieg. I also gave it a few candies just to get it up to level or up to par with these guys. But what I'm going to do right now is I got to revive my Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, I really want to evolve Quackor. And it looks like to me I'm probably going to be doing this off screen and all that stuff. I, I, I yeah, I kind of get the feeling. And oh crap, here it goes with a dive attack. Now. Cramorant is a very, very special Pokemon right here because once it uses Dive or Surf, yeah, it not only hits you, but it also it actually grabs one of your Pokemon from your team and then spits it out right at you. As you can see, I don't know if that's one of my Pokemon. It's probably his Pokemon. But, 
Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're really gonna be facing this guy right here. So Cramorant is waiting to throw that Pokemon at us. And well, let's go with a Focus Energy again. And here comes a Dive Attack. Alrighty, so we're getting focused. We're gonna get focused right here. All right, Focus Energy. Let's go. Let's find an opening. And let's go with a Brutal Swing since Homeboy here is gonna attack us again. So here we go. Dive Attack. Takes a nice chunk out of our HP. Here we go. Brutal swing. That was a critical hit. Yes! <laughs> and, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just like that, it throws something at us before it faints. And, oh, crud, it, our, our defense has fallen. So, so that's one. One critical hit in a battle. And right now the focus is trying to get this Pokemon to evolve, so that's one. The next Pokemon is going to come out is Silly Cobra, so we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here to something that it cannot make, uh, well, it cannot make us faint or anything like that. Okay, so let's switch it out. Let's heal our Pokemon. Let's just, you know, calm down just a little bit. So here he comes, Silly Cobra. And, well, let's see. Let's go with uh, another healing factor right here. Let's go with Quackor the Foul. And look at that. HP has been restored. And you know what? We're, we're probably going to take a hit right here because, uh, yeah, Silla Cobra has dug itself a hole. So let's go ahead and revive Blitzkrieg right here. Now, this is like probably like the most strategic way to actually, or the most strategic battle that I've, I'm, I'm having right now because I want to evolve this far fetched. And what kind of a messed up way to evolve it than to, you know, have three freaking critical hits in one battle. You know how hard that is? Now, I know what you guys are going to say, but Draven, you can actually capture a, a, a uh, you can actually capture a Farfetch with a special ability that can actually, you know, make it easier for critical hits and all that stuff. I get that, but me trying to capture another Farfetch is, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, God. Here we go. Focus energy. Alrighty, alrighty, okay, so <laughs> bring that ass over here with a rock smash. Come on, come on. Here's a dig attack, and there goes a few HP and good gravy. Alright, come on. Rock smash. This has got to go. And here comes a brutal swing. Not super effective though. And here we go. Rock smash. That right there lowers its defense, but it wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't a gravy. It wasn't a critical hit. So let's go ahead with the brutal swing. So this might be a brutal swing kind of affair right here. So let's go. Oh Jesus! Oh come on, come on! Let's get this Quackor. And yes, here comes another brutal swing against us. Here we go, brutal swing. Please let it be a critical hit. And that looked like it was. No, it wasn't. Good God. Oh, jeez. Here comes a dig attack. Okay, so we're probably going to have to heal our Pokemon right here. And that was an innovation right there. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Let's use another Super Potion. That way we won't faint that quickly right there. So there we go. Super Potion. Everything's looking fine. Let's go, Quackor. And here comes another dig attack right at us. Yeah, that would have made our Pokemon faint right there. So let's go right ahead and go with the Brutal Swing. Come on. Ah. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're... Yeah, we... we this guy does not want to let our Pokemon evolve. So... Ah, okay. Uh, actually, hold on. Do I have a full restore? Please tell me... Oh, crud. Nope, I don't have a full restore, but I do have a Hyper Potion. I'll use that eventually, so let's go ahead and kill our Pokemon right here. I kind of have a feeling that, you know, Hop is going to try and spam this whole freaking uh, dig attack right here. So here we go again, another dig attack. And again, it takes a huge chunk, the same amount of, uh, of HP right here. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and use a Paralysis Heal. Right here. It's all about the Farfetch, and what, what did I tell you? Yeah, he's gonna try and dig us, like trying to hit us with dig. Okay, so. Alrighty, alrighty. Now we're in business. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon yet again. Come on. Let's go, Quackor. We need you to evolve. And there's that dig attack. And I'm pretty sure Silicobra's not faster than you. 
So let's go. Brutal swing. Let's get this. Brutal swing. And that was not another critical hit. So we are still alive. We're going to keep Quacko on the team right here. And he's going to be coming out with a Toxel. So Toxel right here, not that strong right now. It's slower than our Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use a Brutal Swing. Come on, Quacko. Come on. That was a critical hit right there. That's two. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. All righty. So we're working with magic right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon because I believe his next Pokemon is going to be his starter, and it's Drizzle right here. So <laughs> let's heal our Pokemon. Let's try not, not to mess this up. Oh, my God. He did not just do that. Okay. So this has opened it up just a little bit more for another critical hit. Let's go, Quackor. Get your critical hit right here. Was that a critical? Yes, it was. Oh, my God. So that's three critical hits right there, guys. I believe it will evolve since it did level up. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off right here. Here we go. Brutal swing. There we go. Okay. All righty. So, okay. Please tell me we're going to be evolving this Pokemon. Because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be pissed. Okay. So here we go. He's Yeah, he's telling me that he has to win in every, at all costs and all that stuff. But guess what? I'm going to try this one more time just in case it kind of screws me over. And here comes a tearful look. So now all we can get is critical hits. Come on. Get your brutal swing, man. And that looked like another critical hit. Yes. Okay. So it's going to evolve right here, guys. It's going to evolve. I did not switch out my Pokemon. It was three critical hits in a row. And that's the fourth critical hit, so I've gotten a total of five right now. So let's finish this guy off. Come on. Let's get it. Come on, Farfetch'd. Come on. We're going to evolve you into Surfetch right here. Let's get it. And that is how you end that. Three critical hits in a row. Holy bejeebus. I think... Holy crap. Okay, so I think... That's going to work right there. That was six critical hits. He's not so happy. My strategy goes right to the pot when I got it all these bad thoughts running through my head. Do not know what you just said, but guess what? We just defeated you, and... Yeah, buddy! That is how you do it. So here it is, guys. We're finally evolving our Farfetch right here. And, uh, well, it took us one episode. And uh, thankfully, we did that research. So here it is, guys. Quackor has just evolved into Surfetch. This Pokemon is a monster of a Pokemon. Look at this guy right here. So here it is, Surfetch, the wild duck Pokemon, two feet seven inches. Of course, 220 or 257 pounds of pure freaking muscle. Only Farfetch that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. So it's basically like a Super Saiyan Pokemon right here. When this Pokemon's leak, uh, leak withers, it will retire from combat. Basically meaning, like, I'm assuming that's his, uh, his sword right there. Holy crud. So, it wants to learn Iron Defense. Let's go ahead and switch it up. We don't need, we don't need Focus Energy anymore. So, let's go ahead and switch that out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I cannot believe I did that in one try. This is the first try, guys. And... Wow, I am excited for this Pokemon. So, after defeating Hop, he's like, hmm. I tried switching my team members in, in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still weak. No, it's because you're living off your brother's coattails and stuff. That's pretty much what it is. Be yourself, homeboy. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. And I don't want people to be, to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder. And harder and harder till there's no one laughing. <laughs> it's like, bro, there's... Yeah, there's always going to be someone laughing at you. And that's going to be me. I'm off, mate. Off to find kind of, uh, kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength, of, uh, strength out of. Okay. See ya. Later. Okay. Alrighty. And... Oh, wow. Where... <laughs> wow. Where in the hell did you come from? Okay, so that's Opal, that child. 
Gym challengers should uh, should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why so? Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. And here we have a B's lead card. Of course, if you guys don't know, B is actually the gym leader in this uh, in Stone Side for Pokemon Sword. I will show you the guys uh, the lead card for. Uh, let me see, what's his name right here? B B B B B B B B B Alistair. Yeah, I will show you guys Alistair's lead card in you know one of those episodes right there. So. Now, go on, child. You're headed to the Stow Inside Gym next, right? The gym challenge is about having fun. It is. Look at that foo-foo, boom-boom, that big old fluffy thing right there. That is a pretty big. Never mind. Anywho. So we did it, guys. We have evolved our Farfetch, our Galarian Farfetch, into a Surfetch. This was, like, a long time coming for Pokemon fans everywhere because, like, you know... I believe Farfetch deserved a uh, deserved an evolution, and here it is. And now that I think about it, I I think what was it? I don't remember what walkthrough that I had. I don't remember which walk walkthrough it was, but I think I remember naming uh, a Farfetch into Quackor, nicknaming it into Quackor somehow. If you guys remember, if you have, if you guys have been with me for that long, let me know which one because I kind of want to know. But here it is, Quackor the Surfish. Now it is a fighting type Pokemon. As you can see, its attack is way, way up there, through the roof. Speed is still a little bit of a deterrent, but do not worry. I, I'm going to freaking fix this Pokemon right here. Now, as you can see, it does have a nice move, move set right now. And, uh, well, let's see. It has a nice sturdy body, so everything is good. I'm happy. That is three fully evolved Pokemon right there. I cannot wait to evolve the rest of the three Pokemon right here. So, the next Pokemon up for evolution is Blitzkrieg and Dumbledore. So, let's go ahead and just switch them out right here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and just start visiting this whole town right here because I kind of wanted to get that whole, uh, that whole, uh, Surfish thing out of the way. So, here we have a little bit of a market. And if you talk to this guy right here, what is today's bargain? It's a cracked pot. Sure, go ahead. I'm pretty sure. Crackpot would actually do something. So here it is. We got ourselves a cracked pot, and uh, well, this peculiar teapot that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It may be cracked, but the tea poured from it is delicious. Anything else? Next bargain. Let's see what it is. He's gonna get another cracked pot. Anything else? No. Now let's see. What does this guy has to do? Okay. This guy right here is like, hey, how about doing an errand for me? If you can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Today, I'm buying Comet Shard for 30000 Oh, looks like you've brought what I need What I need there. I'll buy the Comet Shard for 30000 Sure. So here we go. We get ourselves a lot of money just for Comet Shards right there. And yes, we will be... You can come back here anytime, just uh, every day, just to get more money out of this guy right here. Now, I think there's going to be someone right here that's going to offer you a fossil. So let me see. Let's see. Uh, what about this guy? Using uh, more business, we've been doing it for a long time. So that's called synergy. Every time I see the ruins, I'm enamored by them. Why are they so appealing to me? I wonder. I don't even know. Let's see. What about this lady right here? Just getting here was so satisfying. I can't imagine what seeing the ruins, uh, the ruins will feel like. Okay, so there is somebody right here that actually gives you. Uh, let's see. Sitting left hand table, Pokemon Center. Apparently found treasures. Okay, so left hand, left hand. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to go inside the Pokemon Center. Okay, so apparently there is somebody in here that can actually give you something. So I believe it's this guy. Hey, I have tons of good stuff. I'll share some with you. And bam, we get ourselves two fossilized b birds. And I think that's the same fossils that we used for our Arctazolt. Now, let's see. Two fossilized birds. Listen, I'll give you some tips about fossils. The professor on Route 6 will restore fossils for you. If you want to collect different fossils, go to the wild area, search for them by yourself, or ask the digging duo. That is pretty much it. Now, let me see. I In the last episode, we managed to get ourselves a fossil, another fossil right here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see, other items. I think that's what it is, treasures. Okay, so we got, we got fossilized dino. The fossilized dino... Two fossilized dinos and two fossilized birds. So, basically, we got ourselves 
the same thing, like the same kind of fossils, the same kind of fossils that we use to revive Arctozolt. So now what we need, since we do have dinos right here, is with the fossilized dino, dino we can actually get a fossilized fish. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and sort this out because I kind of feel like we caught, we kind of got more fossils out of it. Okay, so no, we only got two. Okay, so since we already got the bird, we're gonna have to wait for a fossilized Drake in order to get ourselves Dracozolt, and we need to wait just a little bit longer just to get ourselves. Uh, what was it? A fossilized fish. Yeah, we need to get a fossilized fish in order to get Arctovich. Now, Dracovich needs both a fossilized Drake and fossilized fish. So, yeah, we got a lot of time, a lot of work to do, and it's looking like we're gonna have to be doing that like off screen and all that stuff, guys. So, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna have to wait a while right there. So that is that, and well, let's go ahead and continue our, our adventure right here now. Check every crevice, guys. There's a lot of items that you can actually find around this area. There's a Pokeball right there. And they are, they're... Bull <laughs> they're there's a lot of stuff right here. Let's see what is, this is. Three rare bones, of course. Just to, you know, give us more money and all that stuff. Alrighty, so what do we have right here? Get ourselves a Rocky Helmet, which could be used... Well, it's an item held by a Pokemon. If the holder is hit, the attacker will also be damaged upon contact. Now, this is an actual good item to actually put on like a Pharaoh Seed because that's quadruple damage right there since it already has the ability. Now, here we have some Diglets right here. Look at that. I believe they're already caught, so see what else we can actually find around this area. Nothing except these stairs right here. And, wow, this place, like, we're going up the roofs of freaking places right here. Look at that, and there is a TM looking at us right there. So let's go ahead and get up here. And going down, man, wow, they, again, they went all out onto this game right here. And let's talk to this guy. Hey there, you happen to catch a lot of Maractus? How about trading one for uh, my Hatena, or Hatina? And I don't think I ever captured a... Imractus, but I already have a Hatina on my team, so that is going to have to wait for later on. Here we found a Metal Coat, which can, you know, boost up Steel-type moves, but can actually help two specific Pokemon evolve into their respective forms. Now, here we have the TM-74 Venoshock. Very, very good move for Poison-type Pokemon. And it looks like I'm going to be using that on uh, Toxel right there, so... Things are looking up, guys. Things are looking up, and why am I staying there? I do not know. Okay, so let's see. Anything else? Diglets right there. We defeated uh, a rival. How about going inside? Let's see what we can actually find in here. We have people. Let's see. Gotta keep stirring the pot. Make sure it doesn't burn, but it also don't spill it. Let's see. Temperature control is very important for cooking. You need to heat food thoroughly. Hmm. Uh, that is true. That is very, very true. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And, well, let's see. There are Pokemon battles right here. Let's come on and play Bronzong. Huh. Now, this place right here reminds me of, uh, a, of a, a specific place in Pokemon Coliseum. If you guys don't remember, I did announce that I will be doing Pokemon Coliseum as a post-com. And I'm going to tell you this, guys, right now. I'm very excited for that, that walkthrough right there because I've never played the game. I'm actually playing it uh, privately just to, you know, get a lay of the land and all that stuff. But... It's going to be a very successful one, too. Now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Why not buy some ruined souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know. You can only get them here. Let's see. I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Hmm. Now, can you open this door? Yes, I can. And what does this individual have to say? Thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please take this TM as a token of gratitude for your patronage. And here we have the TM06, uh, TM06 Fly, and I think I mentioned this like a few episodes ago where, <laughs> yeah, I thought of using Fly, I thought using Fly here in this version would actually work, but it doesn't, it's the Corviknight Express or something. So, the first airborne taxi in Gala region was a Corviknight. We've been keeping the tradition ever since, and yeah, it's a very good tradition because, man, HM slaves are for the, yeah, they're for the birds. Anywho, let's go right here. See what we can actually find. Going up a roof. I think we can actually find some like items right here on the backside. And here we have another item. Another cracked pot. And, well, 
Let's see, we're going down, 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 and... Oh, God, okay, so I don't think... I do not think that that was, that was a thing, or I, I, I don't think that we should have done that, so... Let's go right ahead and get back up there again. And see what we can actually find. Let's see, there's nothing right here. I don't... Pretty sure you can go on the backside right here somewhere. I don't even know. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can unless it's right behind the Pokemon Center right here. Hold on just a sec. Yeah, we can. Okay, so here we found another item, a Dust Stone. They can actually help one of our Pokemon evolve. And yeah, it looks like that's the only thing right there. So the only thing left to do now is actually go up these steps right here. Now, the Pokemon Gym is here. Again, Stow, uh, what was it? Stow Inside has two different kinds of gyms, depending on the version that you play. And then, if you go right here, you're actually going to find, what was it, Route... I think this is a route. Is it a route? Oh, to uh, the Glimwood Tangle. That's exactly where we're going we're gonna to be going to after we defeat the gym leader right here. Now, let's go up the steps, and before we do that, not talk to this guy, but talk to this guy. I want to show Stoicide's ruin to the My Diglett. Who knows? Maybe it'll wake up some latent Arctic uh, talent, right? Probably. Okay, so let's see. I think you're going to find an item right here. Maybe. I do not know. Could be wrong, but talk to everybody right here, guys. Let's see. Talk to this guy. The places where you can Dynamax your Pokemon are known as Power Spots. The gym stadiums of the Gala region are built to on these power spots. Oh, quite impressive gym sta stadium. Okay, alrighty, and well, let's see. Go straight up right here. Talk to this individual. Individual, I should say. <laughs> the ocean, huh? <laughs> Not a mountain, huh? Probably. And well, look at that. It's a big old mural. And there is a crack right here. What the hell? It's Stoneside's famous mural. It's said to be uh, to be a very deep work of art. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, guys. Uh, yeah, this is just a tour of the pole place. The main part of this episode was to evolve my Farfetch into Surfetch and just get ready to kick some butt around here. So now. In the next episode, I do believe that we're going to be going into the gym. Now, it, like I said, it's going to be a two-parter. I don't think I said that. Hold on. Now, before we do anything, I kind of want to check up on something. Before I explain what's going to go on in the next two episodes, I should say. Let's see. Uh, where's the TMs? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, sort them out now. Okay, so here we are. Sorting them out. And where is the fly attack? There it is. Okay, so it would look like Quackor cannot learn fly. Yeah, it is a fly. It, it is not a flying type Pokemon anymore. And wow, it could learn throat chop. Don't. Uh, yeah. Do not. Do not tempt me, people. Okay, so <sighs> since we have plenty of Pokemon to actually use, it looks like to me that I'm going to be switching out some Pokemon, evolving them, and all that crud too. Okay, so. That is pretty much it for this episode. Now, a few episodes ago, I have announced that I will be doing both Pokemon Sword and Shield, hence the name, my Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. The reason being because after three gym badges, you get to actually go to different, uh, different types of gym badges and gym battles and all that stuff. Now, we are playing Pokemon Sword right now. What's going to happen right here now, guys, there's going to be a two-part episode two-part episode of the next gym battle which will be against both B I think yeah B and Alistair now the first episode will be against B right here in sword the next one will be against Alistair and again guys in Pokemon Shield it's gonna be a little surprising because I did choose I did choose an, uh, a different uh, starter Pokemon right there it's a completely different alternate universe and all that stuff but the reason for this is just to show you guys the differences between both versions. And it's going to keep on happening uh, for every little event that goes on right here. That includes the legendary battles and everything else in between. So, again, guys, I cannot wait. The next two episodes is going to be very, very exciting. And you guys are going to be super surprised of what kind of Pokemon I'm going to be using. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.